Just as the body needs nourishment, invigoration, refreshment, so does the soul. Our souls need to be reinvigorated, to be reignited, to be refreshed. And hence, we have our spiritual spa. Yes, a spa. Spa is an acronym for the three conscious dimensions of our lives. Study, prayer, action. Study is nourishing and refreshing your mind. Prayer is nourishing and refreshing your heart, your feelings, your emotions. And actions are nourishing and refreshing your behavioral Reconditioning the behavioral, reconditioning the emotional, reconditioning the cognitive. It's your spiritual spa. And indeed, it is exactly like that. It's not just sustenance. It's refreshing. It's enjoyable. It's soothing. It's calming. It's the exact opposite of the tensions and the stress that we so often experience under pressure, especially pressure in the material world. So as odd as it may sound, we're quarantined. We're told we can't do and act as we see fit. We need to protect ourselves and others, health-wise. Yet, ironically, in a time like this, you can refresh your soul in unprecedented ways. You can enter into your personal spiritual spa and come out completely new. So put aside for a few moments our stresses, our concerns, our fears, our worries of the unknowns out there on all levels, whether it's health level, whether it's economic, whether it's our own personal comforts, our plans, our travels, and allow your inner spirit to just bask in its spa. But to do that, you can't just meditate about it. You need to actually feed your mind. You need to push your mind. You need to feed and push your emotions to go beyond the conventional comfort zone and your actions. But the spa goes even deeper. It goes into the transcendent and the transcendent of the transcendent, the Chaya and Yechid that we've discussed. Our faculties that are beyond the rational, that are beyond the conscious, but they're necessary because they hold you up the foundation of your life. And ultimately the seamlessness, the seamlessness, the oneness that brings it all together. And all driven by the essential core of your being, which cannot even be defined. You can't even call it oneness because it's beyond any form of expression as we discussed and elaborated upon in earlier antidotes. And when you bring that all together, you have yourself a completely new and refreshing experience.